Hi guys, this is Alex. I'm very happy to um, give you a short intro in the upcoming steps we are going to take. Um, please excuse me, excuse me, I'm a little bit ill so I sound a little bit weird, but I try the best to um, give you a short input on the ideas and the thoughts that I have. Well, actually, we have uh, more than 15 articles for MSI, which is really amazing. I'm, I'm really happy about it. And now I need your help to um, edit the text and help me out because it's like um, things are like rushing now and I'm really, really busy with the things. So, guys, I really, really need your help. Um, for a start, I prepared a little timeline. Um, what are we going to do? Well, tonight we have the... Um, 28th um, of January and until the 4th of February um, we need to be finished with the editing so time is really short um, unfortunately cannot offer um, more time to this so please um, take every free minute and possibility to do and to if every one of us makes a little bit um, we will be able to to finish by this time. Um, after this, I, it will take me about one whole day to uh, six days. I will work so I can finish on the fifth with the layouting. Um, and right after that, I'll create a PDF so on the sixth, seventh, seventh, um, we can proceed with the proofreading of the uh, final PDF of MSI twenty one. Um, on the eighth, ninth. We have then the last checks and ready for printing because the next day um, I should actually upload it on the internet for having it printed and the online printing company I found in Germany which is quite cheap. Um, yeah, how are we going to share these files now? Uh, in the past it showed out up that um, it is very good to share these documents, these articles with Google Docs and I already introduced you to Dropbox. We both used in the, both used this in the past so um, I think you're quite familiar with this. If you are not, um, don't hesitate and, and ask me to give you a short introduction to it. I will stay um, more or less 29, 24 hours a day online the next days to be available for you. Um, yeah. As you can see, this is the folder. <coughs> Sorry. This is the folder um, I created with all with more or less all the articles from um, for MSI 21. Um, I just copy pasted it from the Word documents that I basically got. And um, I divided these articles uh, for use, um, how you will go to, to work with it. Um, but I will show you this later on. Uh, well, I shared this folder with all of you. You can see um, it's me shared with nine collaborators. Um, and you should basically um, be able to open these documents. Um, if you have any problems with this, um, please, please, please make sure to tell me as soon as possible because this is quite essential for us as a team working on this. Well, um, I just start with um, showing you how this, is, this works. I renamed the files with a star, which means this file is not processed. Then. I got a number that we can easily find them without looking so long for the article uh, for the title. Then I put the title um, that is basically um, in from from the document that that can be changed. Um, and then I have uh, the authors um, at the back. Um, let's try the first one. <clears throat> yeah, here it is. So you see uh, a report to the humanity um, that was written by Jose uh, Ricardo. And Danielle, and this is how it looks after I copy pasted it. Um, let's open another one. Let's see uh, here. Body mind medicine. We are already. Um, we already um, proceed on this. Uh, you can see I I added some um, some some information on this. 
Um, and probably, um, let's say, let's go to definition of complementary and alternative medicine. Oh, this is quite formatted already. Ah, here, here are some pictures integrated, um, which are, which um, might be difficult to work on, but but I will show you how to proceed with it later on. So close this. <coughs> I got some here I wanted to show you. <coughs> no, not this. What is integrative medicine? Ah, well. I will show you um, it on, on the first um, document anyway. Um, first of all, I will copy-paste this first information um, for you because this is what I need um, for every article to copy this I paste this here um, the general information for the articles that I uh, that that you have to to check out for me please first of all um you can you can check the spaces how many spaces the article has um, by checking it um, with word just copy paste it into word and 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 check how many characters there are including split spaces so I have an idea how um, I can integrate it in, in, in the magazine so this is like um, X characters the author is somebody different we need a full um, name um, this full name is is quite important because I will use it as a reference as well um, then the, the email address email at gmail.com for example the age um, some years um, the animo yeah important animo position um, actually this is this is really not that important and then um, we need pictures fra from the authors as well um, so is it sent yes or no um, and do we have pictures for the articles yes or no um, for the pictures of myself, please make sure that you um, follow up in the con uh, in the oh, sorry follow up with um, the author to have a picture of of him or her, and um, I will I will offer you the the contact addresses. Uh, well, for the the notes, um, if there is something special like the quotes are missing or um, there is a figure um, in in drop Dropbox that that I have to check. Um, please write it here as well. Uh, well then, uh, basic formatting. Um, I would need to have it quite formatted like this: the whole text um, in Arial, uh, which is more or less the the basic font. You can see Arial, yes. Um, no bold, no italic, no underline, that's just it like the normal text should look like. Um, your duty now is to um, read through it, check for spelling mistake, grammatical mistakes and try to improve um, the text, the article, as much as necessary, as little as possible. So um, you don't change it too much but improve bad English. If you have to make big changes um, please keep the contact with the with the author author and CC me so I can I can follow up um, on on the changes and I might give input. Um, if you're done with this um, and you have completed the whole article with all the spelling mistakes and the <coughs> sorry and the grammatical mistakes. Um, click here to um, remove the star uh, that I can see that this article is already finished. Click OK, um, save and close. Close this as well. And if I refresh this site now, I can see that article number one. Um, is already um, checked and and and, and um, edited by you, and I will take a look at it as well. 
and 